Hello, this is Keith All, and today's tutorial is going to be on how to create an append query, which is an action query within Microsoft Access 2016. And basically, a append query is we're going to be taking uh, the records of this table and we're going to append these records to the customer table. Right now, these uh, customer records do not exist in the customer table. And if we open up customer table and go down to the last record, we're going to uh, see the customer ID is at 13858. So those new records that we're going to take from the other table, we're going to add them to this table. And the customer ID will be automatically generated because the customer ID in this table is the primary key and it's set as an auto number. So which means that anytime that you insert a new record into this table, a new customer ID is generated uh, by doing that. So the first thing that we're going to do is create a select query. And we do that by going up to the upper left going up to the ribbon and click on the Create tab. And then we're going to go over to the Queries group and click on Query Design. And now we want to add to the query our New Jersey's customer table. We're going to close this out. And now we want to select all the fields that we want to update or append to the customer table. And we're going to do so by selecting all of them except this ID field in this New Jersey's customer table because like I said before the customer table has a customer ID and uh, it's set up as an auto number. So we're going to select this field. We're going to scroll down and select the last field by holding down the shift key and left mouse clicking. That way it selects all fields in between everything. So we want to now do a left, left click on this area and we're going to drag it, hold it down and drag it into this area and let go. Now what we want to do is we want to turn this query that we got here into an append query. And we do so by going up to the query type, clicking on a pen here. And what's going to happen here first is we're going to, um, uh, it'll ask us what table do we want to append to. Once we select that table, it's going to um, create a separate area down here called a pen to. And we'll, you'll see in a second what we'll be using that for. So let's click on a pen. We want to pen to the customer table in our current database and click OK. Now we have the append to action here. Now what this is going to do is we want to take, we want to match up the fields in this table and match them up with the customer table. So we do so by selecting the proper field that is matching up. So we want first name to match up with first name in the customer table. And we're going to do so with this all, all these fields here. Surname is actually the last name. Now the thing that we have here is the New Jersey's customer table has two address fields. However, the customer table only has one address field. So we have to do something differently here. So we're going to insert a column and we're going to move our mouse up to the top until it turns to a down arrow. We're going to left click and then go up here to the design tab, query setup group and click insert columns. Now we're going to create a field here we could call it anything that we want. I just choose the called address colon square bracket and we're going to select the field 
that we want to work with, which, which is address one. We need to close this out and then ampersand. And what we're doing is we're going to concatenate two fields together to make them into one. We're going to use a double quote space, double quote ampersand, and then address two. And we're going to close it out with another square bracket. Click, uh, I mean, press enter. And now we need to, uh, and this is going to be from the table, New Jersey. And then what we're going to do first is we're going to cl click on um, select. So again, we're going to click on uh, 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 go back to a select query, and I'm going to show you how this works here. So we're going to select view, and as you can see, the address field here, it took the values of address 1 and address 2 and put them in the one uh, field here. And this is what it's doing. It took uh, address 1, added a space to it, and then took the value of address 2 and put it over here. And it did so with all these records. And you could see uh, the records that have an address 2 value in it. It just appended it into this field. So let's go back to the view, go back to append. And it'll ask the, us this again. Just click OK. And let's continue on with this uh, tutorial. Now, since we already uh, created a separate field that uh, includes t these two uh, fields here, we no longer need them for the append query. So we're going to select it, hold down the shift key to select two fields together, and all you have to do is now delete it. And now we matched up uh, the city with the city field in the customer table. We need to do this for the state. We're going to select ST for state. Postal code is going to be zip code in the customer table. And then the phone is already matched up because both tables have the exact same field with the exact same spelling. So that's how you do that. So now what we want to do is we want to execute or run the append query. However, before we do that, it's very important that any time that you want to update a table, either by deleting records or adding to them or updating fields, you always want to create a backup copy of your tables or even your database. So it's a good practice get, to get into. So in order to make a copy or backup of our customer table, because we're going to be performing this action query on that table, um, uh, uh, we want to make a copy of it beforehand. In order to do that, just select it, and then Control-C for copy, and then Control-V to create a copy of it. And this is the naming convention that Access puts on it. So you, we could leave it as that, or you can call it anything else like customer backup. And now these are your options. What we want to do is we want to make a copy of the structure plus the data. So once we do that, click OK. You can see now it created an exact duplicate of the table. So if you open up this one, copy, you can see it has the 4,531 records in it. Everything's the same. So let's close out that. Let's uh, now execute this append query by going back to design. We, we already selected a pen. And now in order to run this, 
all we have to do is click on run over here and once we click on run you'll have some messages that will pop up and we'll go through them as we see them so we're going to uh, click on run now it's basically telling us verifying that you're about to append seven rows and then once you click OK you can't use the undo command to reverse the changes and it says are you sure you want to append the selected rows and we want to select yes so basically what it did it took the new you know the records in here the seven records and added these to the customer table so let's open up the customer table let's go down to the last remember we had 4531 records prior to this append query we're going to scroll down and you as you can see it added these new records all these New Jersey records we have seven additional ones on here so now the next thing that we want to do is um, let's close this out what if if I ran this append query a second time I already know what's going to happen but let me run it a second time and then I'll show you exactly what's going on so we're gonna um, uh, again we're gonna run this append query a second time so we're gonna click on run go to the design tab make sure append is selected and click on run and it, again it's asking us the same thing you're about to append seven rows we're gonna click on yes and it already ran it it acts that quickly now let's open up the customer table let's go down to the last record now as you see it added another seven records basically a duplicate of those first set of records that we did now the reason why it did that is because this table again the primary key is set up as an auto number so anytime that we insert new records uh, uh, from the first name all the way down to the phone field without the actual primary key it's just gonna automatically generate a new record with a new customer ID table so this is what an append query will do and the next tutorial we're going to show you how we could do another action query called a delete uh, uh, query and um, and we're going to show you how we're going to delete these records here that we added in addition to the first set of records so I hope this tutorial was very helpful for you today to learn more about action queries within Microsoft Access 2016 and specifically about the append query. Please like and share this video. Um, I'm sure you know other people that may need to know this information and could help them in their career. Again, I want to thank you for stopping by and spending time with me today. Uh, I look forward to the, our next video tutorial. Bye for now.